Peace be upon you, brothers and sisters. This is a very serious, filthy teaching. Hello? Yes, we hear you. You are live on air. Who's talking to me? Kashim. Kashim? Okay, Mr. Kashim, how are you doing? I'm okay, yes, sir. I'm all right. So what do you want to say to us, Mr. Kashim? I got a, another question. Oh, you have a question? I thought you... Are you a Muslim? Yes. That's wonderful. What do you think about what I was how, saying first? How can God die? He, who told you that God die? Who told you that? What do you mean? Who is the stupid told you God die? Give me his name. Mean. Who is the stupid told you God die? Give me his name. Mean. Who is the stupid told you God die? Give me his name. Mean. Who is the stupid told you God die? Give me his name. What do you mean? Who is the stupid told you God die? Give me his name. In Bible. Well, hold on. So you are saying that the Bible says that God die? Forgiveness and love of God. And that's why in Romans, Paul can say, I'm certain that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor height, nor depth, nor any other power can separate us from the love of God. Paul knows it because we killed God. We threw all the dysfunction of the world at God. And God still loves us. God can swallow that up in his forgiveness. That's Christianity. That's Christianity. And that's why the cross of Jesus, and that's why the cross of Jesus was necessary. That's why the cross of Jesus saves us. That's why we hold it up on Good Friday and we say, there is the, the cross on which hung the salvation of the world, right? We know that we're saved. We are saved. First. How can God die? He, who told you that God die? Who told you that? What do you mean? Who is the stupid told you God die? Give me his name. So, so God didn't die himself. No, he did die. But he, so there you go. Mean. Who is the stupid told you God die? Give me his name. No, no, I'm, I'm asking. I'm just asking you. Did Jesus? It didn't die? say that. It didn't say. It says that they crucified Jesus and they killed the flesh of Jesus. God is not a man. left and right jesus the god man dying how can he be god if he died one of the most important topics you need to know i just gave you over an hour of verse after verse of biblical exposition showing yes jesus the god man died but he was still conscious and alive and still god No, no, I'm, I'm asking. I'm just asking you. Did Jesus? It didn't die? say that. It didn't say. It says that they crucified Jesus and they killed the flesh of Jesus. God is not a man. Yes, Jesus, the God man, died, but he was still conscious and alive and still God. You need to go back and listen to this. Take careful notes. Ask the Spirit to help you understand it, and then teach it to others. Please do that. No, no, I'm, I'm asking. I'm just asking you. Did Jesus? It didn't die? say that. It didn't say. It says that they crucified Jesus and they killed the flesh of Jesus. God is not a man. Now, when Jesus raised his physical body to life and made it immortal, did he do it alone, or did he do it in union with the Father and the Spirit? In other words, did the Father, with the Son and the Holy Spirit, raise Jesus's physical body and made it immortal? Were all three of them involved? Because all three of them are God. And work together always. Yes, all three of them did it. Were all three of them involved because all three of them are God and work together always? Yes, all three of them did it. Hit that like button, smash it, folks. No, no, I'm, I'm asking, I'm just asking you. Did Jesus? It didn't die? say that. It didn't say. It says that they crucified Jesus and they killed the flesh of Jesus. God is not a man. Yes, Jesus, the God-man, died, but he was still conscious and alive and still God. You no, no, I'm, I'm asking, I'm just asking you. Did Jesus it didn't say that. It didn't say. It says that they crucified Jesus and they killed the flesh of Jesus. God is not a man. I said, why are you a mortal? 
and Jesus immortal, when you both... I never said Jesus. I never said Jesus is immortal. No, no, I said Jesus. Is he immortal? Jesus... Okay. He incarnated as a man. When he did that, he willingly became mortal. I don't understand why that's... Why oh, so that's he was zero percent God? Sorry? You said he willingly became mortal. So he was zero percent God? He was what? Sorry? Zero percent God. No, I, that's not a follow. No. But you God, said he became more mortal. God chose to become mortal. Which means he became a man. Yes. <laughs> Which means he's not God anymore. No. Uh, oh, 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 you can't. So you, know, you, you believe in a mortal God. Do you believe in a mortal God? Seriously. Flesh of Jesus, God is not a man. That's not a follow. No. But you God, said he became more mortal. God chose to become mortal. Which means he became a man. Yes. <laughs> Which means he's not God anymore. No. Uh, oh, 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 you can't. So you, know, you, you believe in a mortal God. Do you believe in a mortal God? Seriously. Flesh of Jesus, God is not a man. Ken is got a man. He's got a man. Ken is got a man. Right, Jesus. Let me ask you that. He's got a man. He's glorified flesh in heaven now. He's got a man. Yes, he's a man. They crucified Jesus and they killed the flesh of Jesus. God is not a man. Man, I never used the So do you believe that? So, so okay. So do you believe that? Do you believe that God is a man? Well, uh, yeah, and my, no. وَإِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى ابْنَ مَرْيَمَ أَنْتَ قُلْتَ لِلنَّاسِ اتَّخِذُونِي اتَّخِذُونِي وَأُمِّيَ إِلَهَيْنِ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ قَالَ سُبْحَانَكَ مَا يَكُونُ لِي أَنْ أَقُولَ مَا لَيْسَ لِي بِحَقٍّ إِنْ فقد علمت تعلم ما في نفسي ولا أعلم ما في نفسك إنك أنت علام الغيوب ما قلت لهم إلا ما أمرتني به أن أعبد الله ربي وربكم وكنت عليهم شهيدا فلما توفيتني كنت أنت الرقيب عليهم وأنت على كل شيء شهيد إن تعذبهم فإنهم عبادك وإن تغفر لهم فإنك أنت العزيز الحكيم قال الله هذا يوم ينفع الصادقين صدقهم لهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها أبدا رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه ذلك الفوز العظيم لله ملك السماوات والأرض وما فيهن وهو على كل شيء قدير